District of Columbia CDL Double Triple Trailers Test. Question 1. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 2. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10. 9. 11. Answer. 10. Question 3. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 4 Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to do both of these things. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Answer Do both of these things. Question 5. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 6. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer the trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 7. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 8. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using Wheel chocks The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes. Either of the above, if available. Answer Either of the above, if available. Question 9. 
The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a double. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 10. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer. Use control door stab braking. Question 11. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 12 which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. Answer. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 13. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 14. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Answer Doubles Triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 15. Converter dollies Usually need a glad hand converter. Often do not have spring brakes. Have little braking power because they are small. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 16. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 10 11 Answer. 10. Question 17. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a double. Answer. 
the rear trailer of a triple. Question 18. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 19. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors are against the law in most states. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 20. How can you be sure you supply air to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 21 If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, Secure it by using Wheel chocks The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 22 the best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Use stab or controlled braking Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 23 you are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 9 11 Answer 10 Question 24. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 25 With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear The emergency line valve open and release air. Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 26. 
What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 27. Converter dollies Often do not have spring brakes. Have little braking power because they are small. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 28. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Do both of these things. Answer Do both of these things. Question 29. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 10 11 Answer 10 Question 30. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when? The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 31. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Restore traction to the tires Counter stair and accelerate Answer Restore traction to the tires. Question 32. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure B. Figure A. Answer Figure B Question 33. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use control door stab braking Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking Question 34 When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer The heaviest trailer The shortest trailer Answer the heaviest trailer. Question 35. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. 
Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 36. Empty trucks Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 37. Converter dollies. Usually need a glad hand converter. Have little braking power because they are small. Often do not have spring brakes. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 38. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 39. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The airlines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 40. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 41. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 42 Empty trucks are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 43. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 44. You are driving a set of doubles. 
A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 45. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 46. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 47. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a double. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 48. You are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 9 10 Answer 11 Question 49. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 50. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use control door stab braking. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 51 Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Are against the law in most states. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 52. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer 
You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 53. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, free. Open, latched. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 54. How can you be sure you supplied dare to a second trailer? Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Answer. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 55. The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Use stab or controlled braking. Answer. Restore traction to the tires. Question 56. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Do both of these things. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer. Do both of these things. Question 57. You are driving a 100-foot twin-trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 9 10 Answer 11 Question 58. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 59. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 60. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 61. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should 
supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 62. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 63. How can you be sure you supplied dare to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 64 What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The airlines will rupture. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 65. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10 Question 66. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear the emergency line valve open and release air. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Air escape from the open valve. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 67 The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stair and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Use stab or controlled braking. Answer Restore traction to the tires. Question 68 You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C Figure B Figure A Answer Figure B Question 69 you should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. 
Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 70. The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Use stab or controlled braking Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 71 the crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a triple. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 72. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer. Air escape from the open valve. Question 73. Converter dollies. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Have little braking power because they are small. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 74. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 75. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Do both of these things. Answer Do both of these things. Question 76 you are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. None. Answer. None. Question 77. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 78. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes. 
wheel chocks. Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 79. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 80. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Are against the law in most states. Answer. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 81. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 82. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure B. Figure C. Figure A. Answer. Figure B. Question 83. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a triple. The rear trailer of a double. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 84. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Answer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 85. With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear. Air escape from the open valve. The emergency line valve open and release air. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 86 You are driving a 100 foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least Seconds of space ahead of you. 10. 
eleven, nine. Answer. Eleven. Question eighty seven. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to close the shut off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 88 Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 89 You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 90. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. Answer. None. Question 91. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Answer. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 92. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The track is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure A. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 93. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 10 11 Answer 10 Question 94. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10
Question 95, you are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 96 You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. None. Answer. None. Question 97. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure B. Figure A. Answer. Figure B. Question 98. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using wheel chocks, the trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes, either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 99. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors are against the law in most states. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 100. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use control door stab braking. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 101. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 102. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. Answer The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 103. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when? The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer. 
the trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 104. How can you be sure you supply dare to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 105 You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. None. It depends on the load. Answer None. Question 106. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Are against the law in most states. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 107. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 108 If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available. Question 109. The best way to stop all skids is to Counter stare and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Use stab or controlled braking. Answer Restore traction to the tires. Question 110. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 111 Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors are against the law in most states. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 112 
You are driving a 100-foot twin-trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 11 Question 113. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 114. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Open, latched. Open, free. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 115. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 116. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 117. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use only the trailer brakes. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Answer. Use control door stab braking. Question 118. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer's spring brakes and emergency air brakes. Wheel chocks. Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 119. You are driving a 100 foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 9 10 Answer 10 Question 120 When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. The lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. 
Question 121, which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack-through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. Answer a sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 122. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 123. You are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9. 10. 11. Answer. 11. Question 124. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure A. Figure C. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.